literally like it's a block of like vanilla ice cream covered in chocolate. That sounds good though. It's so good. Two and don't knock that because that is not attached properly. It's fine. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Let's just rock and roll. Okay. Should we swap seats? Yes, yeah, shit, sorry. That's all right, mate. Don't worry. <sighs> the North Face. All right then. Video number three on the George Benson Football Channel. We don't really wait around for people to sit down here. Welcome back to the George Benson Football Channel. Welcome to Baku, to the Winter Park. Is it the Winter Park Hotel? Mm -hmm. I thought it was the Winter Palace. Winter Palace, Winter Palace, Winter, Winter Park. Palace Park Palace. One of the two. It's very nice here in Baku. If you want to mm -hmm. see the vlog from this place, this man, Louis Benaventi, if you didn't okay. know, he is the star, the face of 100% Chelsea. The best Chelsea fan channel on the internet. You're allowed to say whatever you want. Yeah. There's Number no one. editing on this channel either at the moment, so it's like you just say whatever you want and it will go up regardless. I don't even believe swear words, 11. but don't swear. It's okay. Did he? Yeah, I think he did. I mean, to be, uh, to be honest, that's a whole nother video, but I mean, you're asking me not to swear, it I mean, is. I will, I'll be on my best behaviour. There's also no monetization because I haven't hit a thousand subscribers. Okay then! So, well, <laughs> This really is a waste of your time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a waste of my time, George. It's anyway, right. we're here for one reason and one reason only. To test out the mugs. This is not coffee, it's water. We were going to say it was coffee. But anyway, we're here for Chelsea versus Arsenal. As you can see, got my Chelsea shirt on and our little hats. Three minat. Salam. For a hat from Very Azerbaijan. Nice. Great I like price. It. I think, like, I like the pattern on my one. Have you got the same pattern? Um, no. Oh, mate, your one's cool. Completely like different. Mine looked like Spider-Man on the top. <laughs> it's like, I, I still haven't seen that film yet, but I need to see Into the Universe. But They're very know. nice. Cool. Let's move on. Let's get this going. Let's get Sorry. this going. Let's get this going. Chelsea versus Arsenal tonight yes. in the Olympic Stadium. Mm -hmm. Quick one. Yes. How was it for you to get here? Okay, so I went Heathrow to Istanbul, then Istanbul to Baku. We had like, it was supposed to be like an hour layover in mm. Istanbul but the plane got in late, so it was literally, they got everyone together and then rushed us all to the gate. Um, so it was pretty smooth. Yeah. I was quite happy with it. I mean, the second leg was when it was like, it hit midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and I just wanted my bed. I was yeah. like, I'm so ready to sleep now. I tried yeah. sleeping on the plane. I uh, had a bloke kept nudging me, and then obviously the trolley was going up and down, which was lots of, I couldn't Classic. really get some proper shot. I watched Downsizing though, with okay. Damon, proper good film. Rate uh, out of 10? I give it a solid seven, eight, mainly because of the, the social meaning behind it. Okay. Because it's, it's quite cool. It's all about global warming and stuff and how people become miniature. If you want we'll to save it. that for the up and coming film review channel, which exactly. won't be coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's absolutely fine. But, so you, got, you got that. It's a good film. But other than that, you know, I, we got there. It was it was all right. Um, obviously, Kia met us at the airport. Yeah. Fantastic. They set us up at another hotel just so we could get a bit of wink. And yeah. uh, then they brought us here. But it's, you know, it's been, you know, I, I, I enjoyed it. The flight was easy, easy stuff. And, Got there in the end. Standard. It's been a bit of a mission. It's been very well documented across the global media of the logistics of getting to Baku has been very tough. Obviously, you've got two teams from London playing a game 2,500 miles away from home. Yeah. So it's not as easy as it would be to just jump on the tube, get on the district line and go to Fulham Broadway or go wherever line it is to get to the Pick Emirates. Piccadilly line. Piccadilly line. That's the one. I used to live close to it. I can actually see the Emirates from my balcony. Really? But That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was all right, but... You know, couldn't hear any noise. Pretty standard about that, yeah. yeah. Slightly too far away, Arsenal fans, sorry. <laughs> Nothing to do with the decibel levels that come out of the Emirates. Can Can't say anything there, from South Bridge, can we? Yeah. This is just me just writing myself into getting my first dislike on the... I've not had a dislike on the channel yet, either. Wow. I know I'm about to now. <laughs> like, that's such a waste of time me saying that, but it's 100% record for, uh, for no dislikes. But we spent a lot of time on your channel talking about the build up to the game. We didn't do any predictions on your channel. If you want to see us actually talk about what who we think is going to start and everything, go over to 100% Chelsea channel. We talk about that over there. Predictions for tonight. What do you think is going to happen? Are we going to take the Europa League trophy back to London? Okay. For no parade. No parade. I think that's key. That's a big thing as well. It it's is the Europa League trophy. Um, no parade. We're you know we're not Accrington Stanley winning the Carabao Cup. Let's be honest. <laughs> the Johnson's paint. <laughs> Johnson's paint. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> um, Right, I, th I honestly think the big battle is going to be the midfield. Mm -hmm. That I mean, if we've got Kante, I think that could be really important. I mean, it, they're most likely going to be playing a 3-4-3 three, three yeah. with Xhaka and Torreira in the middle. So that's a very physical side there. Yeah. And I think Ross Barkley can put a bit of a fight, but he's really got no game management for me no. personally. He's the sort of guy who gets the ball, and I genuinely think in his head he's just screaming. He's going, ah! He's like running everywhere. Um, yeah. Kovacic goes around in circles, but he can, he does have a little bit of a physical side to him. And Jorginho, despite not having a physical side at the start, 
ever since he's got the headband, he's kind of like been kicking lumps out. Yeah, he's been a different player, hasn't he? Yeah, so I think he should wear that continuously now. But I think I think that's going to be the big battle. If Jorginho gets marked out of the game, we haven't really had a plan B. So that could be an issue. But I think the big thing as well is this is going to be heavily reliant for us on Eden Hazard and his performance tonight. This could be his last yeah. one in blur as well. So he's got to turn up and he's really got to try and help us get that Europa League trophy because the main thing is Arsenal will be stuck in Europa League for another season. Yeah. Uh, they won't be in the Champions League for another year despite saying no, they should be in the Champions League. That's where they belong. Uh, no one belongs anywhere. I just want to put that out there. Extremely biased video today, by yeah. the way. Well, it is. It is. There's no Chelsea. There's no, it's, all, it's all Chelsea. There's no Arsenal fans. Here. It is. But, um, but yeah, it's going to be heavily reliant on that. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Um, I think I'm going to be honest with no Kante I think that Arsenal will have control of that midfield and if they have control of that midfield then get to their forwards and that partnership is probably one of the best in the Premier League currently if not the best mm. um, Aubameyang Lacazette they could cause us lots of issues yeah um, agreed and again the physicality comes into it I think Christensen's a superb defender the same goes for David Luiz, but David Luiz is still very rash. He's much like the Hobbit, he likes to go on an adventure. Uh, and I feel Christian. Bit like we've been doing in Baku exactly. for the last few days. Check the vlog later. Um, but you've got that, and then I think Christensen, he's very young still, so I, I'm not going to sit there. He's only a year older than me, so I'm not exactly going to sit there and absolutely batter him. Yeah, he's younger than you, George. Uh, and he's playing the European oh, final. <laughs> um, I think he's a bit soft sometimes yeah and when it comes to the physical battles he loses them frequently i've also heard he suffers from pre-match sickness as well yeah and if you're ever going to get sick it's going to be before a final in an olympic stadium in azerbaijan yeah but he's a he's a big viking so he is i trust him deep I'm down it. yeah he'll get that out but um look i think it's gonna be a really interesting game that's gonna be the key battles for us if we can get it up to Giroud, who can hold it up and bring hazard into play i think that's gonna be massive the right hand side for me is pretty redundant I'm yeah. being brutally honest. I think that Willian, as much as he's been a great servant for Chelsea, his actual primary outputs in terms of goals and assists across five years is not good not enough. Good enough. No. Um, and I think that there could be a hell of a lot more done. I think if we get to the final third, he, he could turn up tonight. If, if Willian has one of those games, like he did for us uh, when he was playing for Shakhtar and against us, uh, like he did against Burnley, like he, these games where he does just... He just turn, fires, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think this that could be a big issue for Arsenal, especially on that left-hand side. You know, it's going to be uh, Kolasinac probably playing left wing back, who's, yes, very big, very, phys very physical. Yeah. No legs, though. And I think if Mustafi's on that side or he's on the right-hand side, I think we'll have a field day there. Yeah. Uh, who, irrespective of who it is, he'll be turned inside out. He's he got better towards the back end of the season, according to Robbie. But uh, still, it is uh, shot Graham Mustafi. Uh, yeah. So we'll be touch and go with him. But it's it's going to be a very interesting game. So in terms of that scoreline prediction with yes. Kante, give me yours now. It just shows how important Kante is, by the way. It changes everything, really. Well, I mean, this is it though. Like he. Everyone's minding him being played out of position. He's not been played out of position. That's where he played for Leicester. He played mm. as that box-to-box, -box, ball winning midfielder. Yeah. And if he's winning it further up the pitch, it means you know that Arsenal pinned further back. Also, his best position on football manager, by the way. I've been playing a ton really? of that recently. Yeah. I've, I've, you must, I've never played football manager. Oh, you're missing out. I, I tried you're it when I was like missing out. 10 and I didn't understand it. So then I kind of gave up on it. Might do a football manager series. I think you Maybe. should. Maybe. Do you reckon I should? I think you should. You've I got, could. But, but I, I play it enough. It, you've got to wear the suit on a cup final. Yeah, you have to. It has to be done. Track, track suit for league games. Suit for the cup final. I have to exactly. buy one. I haven't got one that fits these days. You haven't days. got a suit. I don't. No, I've got a suit. I don't. Not one that fits anyway. I've got. I've the got arms have got longer <laughs> since then. It comes to about here. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Since my dad's wedding, I'm, I'm worn one. Blimey. I've. I think yes. Yeah, so I. I don't wear suits that often. I wore the last one at the FBAs, and then I didn't wear one for like a whole year. It was the, like the year before I wore a suit. I don't wear it very often, even though, you know, it's in, it's in the jeans, you know, I should really be, you know, looking sharp and like the Mafia, apparently. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kante with a prediction. 2-1 uh, Chelsea. 2-1 Chelsea. And without Kante, prediction? Either an Arsenal win or we drag them all the way to penalties. Okay. Well, I had a dream the other night. The night before we came here. My dream was 2-2, two, two, okay. 6 5 on penalties with Ross Barkley scoring the sixth penalty and then Arsenal missing their sixth penalty. So 11 out of 12 penalties go in. So if that happens, I've had some very good predictions this year, by the way. Very good predictions. My, my Premier League predictions, I think I've got like seven or eight right out of 20. 
and I predicted some weird like Rudiger goals and some weird goals when defenders scored for us. Hopefully that bodes well if we're making this video today. I'm actually, I wanted to be boring and say, say the same thing as you. I think it's either going to be 2-1 Chelsea with Kante or 2-1 Arsenal without. From mm. a from a more of like a neutral standpoint. Yeah. But I think there's going to be goals tonight and I, I, I just cannot get my head out of the hole. It's Eden Hazard's last game for Chelsea. Mm. He signed, we won the Europa League and it's going to be the last thing he did. A bit like for Drogba when we thought it was going to be his last kick in a yeah. shirt for Chelsea and he won us a Champions League. He came back and won another Premier League trophy so that was great. I'll start with one of them for a while. 3-2 Chelsea. That's good game. Good it's going to be a good final, I think. It was also, I think, with the Eden Hazard thing as well, it was yesterday, seven years ago, that he said, I'm signing for the European Champions on Twitter. What a moment that was. So, we, we had the, one of the best players to grace the Premier League at Chelsea. I think he'll do it. Let's, let, let's, 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 let's go yeah. in with positivity. We've got to stick with the positivity. We're both pessimists at heart, particularly when it comes to, when it comes to football stuff. We said that over on, on your channel, Louis. But yeah. That has been our predictions for what we think is going to happen. I think on the whole, we think that Chelsea win. It all depends on who starts. No bias whatsoever. Fuck, it's tons of injuries. That's the problem. Yeah. But regardless of that, we've got to go because we've got to go to the fan festival now. And if you're looking forward to the vlog, I've made one. Louis made one. We've combined a few little things here and there as well. He shoots a time lapse on one camera. I shoot one on another. But we don't talk about that kind of fancy filming here on this channel. This is solely football. And we've spoken <laughs> about films and fashion today. But anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on, we're going to leave this hotel room. Thank you for watching. Be sure to go over to Louis' channel. Links in the description is Instagram and Twitter over there as well. Been snapping away for the man. And uh, yeah, Tilda's on the bed. Say hi, Tilda. Hello. What's your prediction? Um, uh, uh, uh. 4-2 Chelsea. 4-2! Oh, I'll have that. That would that be very, nice. very nice with some... What's it? Chudalan. Chudalan. That's the local beer. Let's have Bang one. In. See you in a bit. See you later. Boom.